Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with The Creativity Cave and I'm so excited to be stamping these adorable spring cards for you today. They are so cute and happy and I love them. And they are cards that I created featuring this month's paper pumpkin kit from Stampin' Up and a few other supplies. Our paper pumpkin kit this month is just so cute. And so these are some alternative ideas for using your kit. Now the kit comes with all of the supplies to make three each of these three cute cards, which are just so fun for spring. And there's also, and then of course, coordinating envelopes and everything. There's also some extra bonuses in this month's kit or an extra bonus. There's a free stamp set that is a bonus set this month for subscribers. And it has these super cute boots that I featured in this card um, and the bunny. And then of course, every paper pumpkin kit comes with a stamp set, which you can see I'm using a bunch of the pieces in it. So let's get started and let me show you my projects. I love them. Did I mention that? <laughs> um, they're just cute, happy spring cards. And I think this is kind of the perfect sentiment and I, for right now, and um, I think it's a great way to check in on people and to send them a little happiness. Now, we're going to start with our Easter card. So I've got a half a sheet of, or I'm sorry, uh, balmy blue cardstock that I'm going to fold in half and then I'm using a piece of Whisper White. So I've got a layer of four by five and a quarter. And then I'm gonna do my stamping on a smaller layer, which is, I wanna say four and three quarters by three and a half. So on here, I'm gonna take that grass stamp and stamp it across in Granny Apple Green ink along the bottom of my panel here. You can see I'm just going to go across like that. Okay, I've also got a stitched shape square, and I'm going to stamp at the bottom of this as well. This is the largest stitched shape square. And there we go. Okay, I'll set that aside. I'm also going to take the two clouds, and I really like these clouds. They're kind of different. Um... And so I think they're perfect. So I'll take some balmy blue. Now I'm going to stamp them off um, because they actually stamp pretty dark. You can see that's a pretty dark cloud. Like there's a storm brewing in that thing. So I want this to be a happy card. So we're going to stamp um, just stamped off on here. And you can see that's a spring cloud. That's a storm cloud. <laughs> we want a spring cloud. Though I am a big fan of the storms. Um, not on my card. My cards are happy. <laughs> okay, so I'll stamp these on here like so. And then there's the smaller one and they kind of go together. So check this out. You can stamp it right there and they kind of meld together. I like how they work, um, which is kind of cool. So I just am putting them together. This one you might not see because we'll cover it up. And I'll do one right over here because we're going to cover this area up. So I just wanted one kind of to be in that spot. And then on our square, I'll stamp one more. Um, right up here like that. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is stamp my little bunny on a scrap. I've got a scrap right over here of some white cardstock, and I'm gonna stamp my bunny in crumb cake. You could do, um, I thought about doing pink, but um, I ended up with crumb cake. You could do Sahara Sand, Smoky Slate, any kind of light neutral color would look good with this. And then I will cut this out. Just a little fussy cutting here. Whenever I cut anything out, I always leave a little border of white because that will hide any imperfections in your cutting skill. 
And then notice I'm kind of holding my scissor in the same spot, but I'm moving my cardstock around. That's how I fussy cut. And I get pretty good results that way. Okay, there we are. And then we're going to adhere the bunny right there. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna take, let's see, I'm just gonna put a little of the adhesive on the back of him. All right, so we'll kind of stick him down in the grass like so. It's so cute. Okay, now I took the sentiment Easter Blessings. This is from the stamp set Itty Bitty Greetings. And I've got this skinny little strip left over from when I was trimming layers of cardstock. So I'm just going to take and stamp this on here. I love this skinny little strip. Um, it's not too often that I have a sentiment that fits perfectly on there, but I do every so often. So I'm just going to trim that. Actually, I'm going to use my little paper trimmer here. This is nice because it will cut things nice and squared off. Sometimes when I use my scissor, um, I cut, I end up cutting at an angle and I, I like this for squaring things off nicely. Okay, this is the trimmer you can get only free by becoming a demonstrator, which is such an awesome thing. Okay, I'll talk more about that in a minute. All right, so I'm just going to adhere this right over my bunny. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, now you might notice there's a cute little butt on my bunny. Okay, technically it's a tail, but it sounds cuter to say butt, so I'm going with it. <laughs> um, these are from our assorted pom-poms. These are not available at the moment, but they'll be here soon. Um, they've been really popular because, of course, there's butts in all kinds of colors. Um, they coordinate with our Bonanza Buddies um, suite of products or birthday Bonanza. So I'm just going to put a big dollop of glue right here. And then I'm going to set that bunny butt right on there and give it a minute to set up. And the glue does a really good job of sticking to it. Um, I found that when I use... Uh, a glue dot it tends to come off so I don't like that all right let's put the rest of our card together while that's drying so I'm going to adhere this to my whisper white layer and then I've got some um, polka dot tool ribbon that I'm going to use I'm just about out this is the last bit of my roll. Um, so I'm going to put this onto my card and just tie a knot. Okay. And then I love this because it's it adds a nice little touch but without being too much. You know what I mean? Okay. I love this ribbon though. All right. Now I'll adhere this to my balmy blue card. And then we'll attach that square popped up right on top. So it's such a cute, sweet Easter card. And if we're not gathering for Easter this year, you guys, this is the perfect way to share a little Easter love with your family or loved ones or friends or neighbors or whomever. And it's always a good idea to reach out with a card. Now, if you didn't want to do an Easter card, you could just make this a cute little spring card, thinking of you card, whatever. It's just cute and happy. I like it. So there we go keep my bunny butt in place. It takes just a few more minutes to really get it to adhere. So there's my first card. My second card is another really cute card. I'll pull that back into the frame. And this one, actually, let me get rid of my 
messy paper here. This one is going to use those boots, which I love. Okay, so the boots are really, really cute. They come in two steps, which I also love. So there's the detail and the solid. So I'm going to start with a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth inch piece of Whisper White. And I'm going to stamp the detail boots in So Saffron to start with. Okay, so I'll ink those up. And then I'm going to stamp them down right here, like so. Okay, isn't that just so cute? And then I'm going to take my basic gray ink pad and I'm going to stamp them right over the top. like so. Oh, perfect. And actually I meant to stamp them off, stamp off a layer of that gray ink so it was a little bit more subtle like my sample. And you know what? I think I am going to do that. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to stamp it off and we'll do this part first. So I don't forget. Oh, I gotta open my yellow pad again. So it's okay to make mistakes because there are two sides to every sheet of cardstock built in. I love that. Okay. Boom. So good. I really like that. It's, uh, it's, that's a little in your face. This is more subtle like spring. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm also going to take, there's this little kind of ground stamp that's what I'm calling it and I did it full strength on my sample I think I'm going to stamp it off here and yeah I like that to be just a little bit more subtle so there we've got that um next up I'm going to bring oh actually I want to do one more thing with my basic gray while I have it open I'm going to stamp my sentiment so I've got a little piece um of scrap one inch strip of cardstock up here I'm just going to kind of set it up here because that's where I want to place it. And I'll stamp my sentiment. And I love this. No matter the weather, we're in this together. And could the timing of that sentiment possibly have been any better? I mean, who would have known we needed that sentiment so much right now? So I'll punch the end off with my triple banner punch. And then I'll attach this popped up onto my card with a couple of dimensionals. Okay, like that. Very nice. Now I'm also going to take and trim this off with my trimmer and I'm just gonna leave oh, about an eighth of an inch hanging off like so. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, I, ooh, I should have done this first. It should be okay. <laughs> it should be okay. I'm going to, yeah, we're good. I'm going to stamp the grass, which, by the way, you can see is designed to fit out, coming out of these little boots. Isn't that awesome? I love that. Okay, so now we've got our grass, and so now it's all happy in spring. Um, that Now, I liked this so far, but I wanted to add something else to it. And so I pulled out my Pleased as Punch designer series paper. That is this paper. Um, you, It's not in the catalog. It's one of our coordination product items. And you can get this through the end of March, so just less less than a week left. But I love this paper. Now I cut out this design because I thought it went really nicely with the boots. And so what I'm going to do is I'm using a post-it to kind of help. But I'm going to just punch this out. I don't like punching it off of the sheet because I don't want to punch over some of the other images that I want. Okay. So I'm just doing this piece and the post-it note helps do that. It makes it easy to do. And likewise, I'm going to do the punch or the handle with my punch. So this is the, um, under the umbrella, umbrella, pun builder punch. 
and it coordinates with the under the umbrella stamp set. So I would get the bundle. Um, I also have an online class for this. So I'll put a link to that in the description of this video for you. It's a really fun class with really cute projects. So I'm just going to turn that upside down and pop it up on here as well. Now, if you are not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, there's never been a better time to subscribe. You can get, I recommend getting a prepaid subscription because when you do that, you qualify for celebration benefits through the end of March. And those benefits are pretty awesome. If you get a 12 month prepaid subscription, you get four celebration choices. If you get um, a three or six month subscription, you also get celebration items, which is awesome. And if you really want the best deal, what I recommend doing, and this is what I do, is um, I get my 12-month subscription during celebration. I will get a few other things so that the total will go up to $300. And then I will get six celebration choices. I will get $36 um, or more, depending on what my total is, of free merchandise that can be anything that you would like um, out of our annual catalog or occasions catalog. Plus, you also qualify for this ridiculously cute little ladybug stamp set. And there are dies you can purchase um, that coordinate with this stamp set. And I am working on maybe having a little class with that one too. So watch my blog for details on that coming up. Anyway, you can get all of that um, with your prepaid paper pumpkin subscription. So it's a great way to go. And then, of course, when you subscribe with me, I'll give you those additional um, project ideas every month. They come out around the first of the month, and it is a great deal. So there you go, guys. We've got two just super cute cards, perfect for spring and so much fun. So I hope you've loved this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here in the corner. Just click that little box and um, all of the supplies that I used are found in the description of this video or on my blog post. And of course, there's links to all of that in the um, description. So thanks so much for stamping with me today, guys. I love stamping with you. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.